Hello, good day, guys. My name is Nick, technical analyst with SuperForex. Today, we shall be looking at a technical analysis on the currency pair, the Eurozone to the United States dollars. And first, we'll be talking about fundamentals before we move right down ahead to technicals, which is purely, purely what we're seeing on the chart. Now, we have noticed that the European markets have edged higher, I mean, hopes of uh, the central bank policy softening. And of course, the European stock markets opened bright, uh, broadly higher on Tuesday, continuing the previous session's positive tone as investors digest quarterly earnings from the banking sector, while a key guide of German business sentiment came in above expectations. At 3.20 ET GMT 7.20, the planned European stocks 600 rose 0.40%, while the DAX in Germany traded 0.17% higher, and the CAC 40 in France climbed 0.64%. Meanwhile, the FTSE 100 fell uh, slightly by 0.36 as uh, Rishi Sunak, uh, sets uh, to become the UK's newest prime minister later. Now, European equity markets have started this week strongly uh, with both the DAX and the CAC 40 increasing by 1.6% on Monday, while tracking gains on Wall Street as investors bet that a pronounced economic slowdown could push the Federal Reserve into softening its hawkish stance. Now, aside from central bank decisions, with the European Central Bank widely expected to lift interest rates again on Thursday, investors are focusing on the quarterly corporate earnings uh, season with investment banks reporting this week. Now, the UBS Group, AG, SIX, UBS, reported a 24% fall in third quarter net profit on a decline in market activity, although it beat expectations due to a rise in client funds. Now, shares in the Swiss banking giant advanced made more than 2% in early deal making. Now, uh, what to expect generally? We have concerns that remain that Germany is heading for recession as the Energy standoff with Russia rise, rising prices and supply bottlenecks take their toll, of course. While oil prices are lower, reversing earlier giants amid continuous fears over slowing global demand growth, particularly from China, the world's largest importer of uh, crude oil. Now, what do we expect? We have seen a most recent uh, support zone right here on technicals, and uh, the support zone is uh, very close to the one at uh, 0 0.98138 which is uh, 41 pips below. Now, what we're expecting is a uh, probable push up to break out of this resistance zone at 0 0.99018 and a push up to the upside. We're looking at nothing less than 60, 70 pips from that trade of force, which is good money. Now, if we were to make our trade and let our trade run up to this point, checking our four hours time frame, we have nothing less than uh, 150, sorry, 120 pips plus to boast off from this, which of course is good money. Uh, now that's our technical analysis on today's currency here. Now let's move over to the stock markets. Hello guys, now today on today's stock markets, we'll be having a look at Kraft Hens. And uh, one thing we have noticed that our uh, earnings previews has been showing that Boeing, uh, Bristol, Mayas, Quib, Kraft Hens, and a majority of the stocks equity indexes closed higher on Friday after staggering a bit to the early uh, going, while the Dow Jones industrial ended up uh, the day with 2.47 and the SIP 500 closed 2.37 higher and the NASDAQ closed 2.31%. All 11 sectors closed higher led by materials 3.46% and a lot more. Now, what this has been having an effect on the market is that the three major indices opened mixed Monday morning with NASDAQ down by about 1% in the first half hour of trading after the US market closed on Monday. We have uh, the Cadence Design, we have Discover Financial and Range Resources. We report quarterly results before markets open on Tuesday. General Electric, uh, General Motors, UPS and Valero Energy and DEC to report results. While the Alphabet, Coca Cola, and Phase, Microsoft, and Vice Visa are also reporting late Tuesday, uh, as the case may be. Now, what to know about Kraft uh, Hens? Uh, shares of Kraft Hens has dipped down by around 1% over the past 12 months, of course, and but has added more than 8% since the beginning of the fourth quarter, while the consumer staples uh, sector has dropped by about 3.8% in the past month. Kraft Hens has a solid dividend yield and a payout ratio of more than 100%. This is a big part of course of the reason why Warren Buffett continues to hold the stock, even though it uh, trades for just over half its value after the merger was completed in 2015. Now, analysts in general are not so sanguine, uh, of 20 brokerages covering the stock, we have 11 have a hold rating and uh, have a buy or let's just say strong buy rating at a share price of around $36.05. Uh, and uh, the upside potential based on the median 
price target of $42 is 16.7% at a high price target of $51. The upside potential is 41.7%, of course. Wirecraft Hands is expected to post third quarter revenue of $6.28 billion, down 4.1% sequentially and by 0.6% year over year. An adjusted EPS of forecast at 0.5% cents, down 20% sequentially and uh, by 13.8% year over year for the full 2022 fiscal year. And this are looking for EPS, of course, $2.66, down 9.4% year over year on revenue. Now of 26.1 billion, uh, by down by 0.1%, the stock trades at about 13.6 times expected 2022 EPS. Now 13.2 times estimated 2023 earnings of $2.74, and 12.6 times estimated 2020 to uh, 24 and of $2.86 per share. Now the stocks a 52 week range is $32.73 to $44.87. Now Kraft Hens pays an annual dividend of $1.60 while uh, yield of 44.54% while the total shareholder return for the past 12 months was about 3.4% of course. Now what do you expect from this? Uh, we most likely have a push down to the downside before a push or back. And this, of course, should have a should have major effect on the financial markets of uh, the craft hands. And uh, uh, a major breakout of the resistance zone means uh, we are looking out for a new zone, checking our four hours. Uh, the new zone comes at about uh, 38.02, which is uh, from the entry point here. We have uh, 20 pips. And most likely to this point, uh, we're going to see it test the uh, 39.95 uh, threshold, which is about 30, 33 pips thereabout from that trade, of course, entry, which is good money. And that's our technical analysis on today's uh, stock market conference. I remain your host, Nick. Bye for now.